I just tried the Crescent Bay prototype. Unbelievably different than the last time I put on the Oculus VR. What's the biggest change that people are going to see when this prototype goes to market and they see it? Well, they'll, they'll see the change that you just experienced, which we really believe is the beginning of consumer VR. It needs to be at that quality level, which is largely around comfort. <laughs> uh, once you get it to be this kind of comfortable experience where when you put it on and you're moving around, it's tracking really sub-millimeter, very accurate tracking. It's also very, very low latency. So as you're moving around, it's not catching up with you. It's all happening instantaneously. And suddenly when you get to this certain threshold where the tracking is right, the latency is right, the optics, everything comes together, this switch in your brain kind of flips and you're comfortable and you feel like you're there. And you start to get those little hints of presence where you feel like you're actually in that virtual space. And then the next step is, can we bring other people in there with you? And they would be right there in front of you and you'd believe they're there. Blow my mind, take me through some of the coolest applications you can see for this in the future. A lot of it comes down to the gaming side of things, being able to put on a pair of glasses, be inside of this game, feel like you're truly there, uh, real-time cinema experiences. And then longer term, I do think it's gonna be largely about face-to-face -face communications that we've been longing for. The idea of virtual tourism, kind of being able to tell port to different parts of the world I think is also very powerful and then I would end on something like education. Everyone's raving about Magic Leap, another company that just came out. So how do you guys kind of stack up against the competition? Well they're raging about the amount of funding that they got. They're, nobody has really seen the technology yet so it's still anybody's bet on who's going to come out with a competitive product. Uh, we don't view other folks like Magic Leap from what we've heard. We don't view them directly competitive. Uh, a number of people are focusing on augmented reality, AR, or what we like to call NR notification reality uh, with Google Glass, where it's just little notifications up in the corner of your eye. AR is see-through glasses. We're virtual reality where we really take over your whole field of view, your entire vision, and we give you a new virtual vision. Um, these are each different product categories, so they'll be leaders in each space, and we really are confident that we'll be the leader in the, the VR space, especially on PC and mobile.